Growing up on James Island, it was awesome. You know, I loved beach and waterways and going fishing with my dad. Played football since I was six years old, and I, I started wrestling in eighth grade. And then once I get in high school, I had a, a great mentor and my coach, Mark Agner. You got it, you got it, one more, let's go. The way that I coach is from the way that I was coached in high school. Good job, Will, the way to go, Will. Just the challenge of it, conditioning. There you go, there you go. Strength training, the toughness, and the individualness, and the team, because you had a team score, and also you had you're out there by yourself, and there's nobody else to help you. Where'd you go to high school again? Fort Johnson High School on James Island. Won one match in two years, my first two years. Being the only one that would lose in, the, in our match against other schools, we had an exceptional team when I was a senior, and um, the state tournament was in West Ashley, which was called St. Andrews High School and I was the last one for our team to wrestle, so if I won the match, you know, we were gonna win the state championship. I remember my coach before I went out, he told me, he said, you'll never lose another match in high school. Just that little thing right there, I mean, there was no way that, you know, I was gonna be out hustled or outmaneuvered on that day. Knowing what it was like to be the person that always got beat and then was fortunate enough to, to win the state championship as a senior. That's helped me so much as a coach. You know, I'm a prime example of the willingness not to quit and to keep pushing. And then when things get tough, you gotta get tougher. And, and when things get harder in life, you gotta get tougher. And if you don't quit, you always have a chance. That's what all of us teachers are trying to teach the kids. There you go, good job, good job. I hadn't planned to coach wrestling in high school as an opportunity that just came along. I got to be on the opposite side of Coach Wash, probably mid-90s, uh, coaching at Goose Creek High School wrestling. Um, he was at James Island, so we kind of went against each other. Very intimidating, didn't know him that well. Um, James Island had some pretty good wrestlers. Been fortunate to have the most awesome kids. You look at Tim's career at Lugoff Elgin. In Ten years there, we were in the finals seven years and we won three. All three brothers at Lugoff Elgin won the state championship under Tim. So to have that, that's pretty impressive itself. In fact, his name's Ben Connell and he was the national winner of the Dave Schultz Excellence Award, which is the highest award you can win in wrestling in high school. In the blue singlet, the four-time state champion from South Carolina, Ben Connell. Coached this kid, you know, and, um, and his success brought him all that. Now he's a successful attorney. Being an attorney, pretty impressive. But now to be a, a member of the South Carolina House of Representatives and still have contact um, with your wrestling coach, that's what it's about. I mean, the relationships you build with these kids. I've coached wrestling. I was a head coach for 31 years and altogether 35. 500 plus wins. I mean, that's, that's rare ground um, that, you know, Tim has entered doing that. But you would never know it to talk to the man. It's, it's pretty neat. In 2011 was the last time we had an inductee class for the, the National High School Hall of Fame. I felt so proud to, to have all the guys that came from the, the schools that I coached. If you could go into that you know, banquet room in Columbia, you would be so impressed to see how many wrestlers from James Island, Lugoff Elgin, Rock Hill, Kane Bay, I mean, it was a Tim Wash show there that day to show their appreciation, gratitude. And tell you, man, coach, you know, you helped me so much. And then what you taught me was, it's helped me in my life so much and overcome things. It makes, it means the world. You know, that's why you do it. His involvement in developing, you know, young men and now young women into um, athletes, but just better people. But the guy would do anything for any school in this district. That's the mark I think he leaves on our district. Who's up? Who's spotting? This has been the best job I've ever had. 
Let's go, MJ. Let's go, MJ. As long as I feel like I can contribute, I definitely want to contribute to the sport that's done so much for me.